Hello everyone. So I took it upon myself to go to a Google bar and type in Supreme Court decided on Bill S-201. And here's what it says. Bill S-201 made it a crime to require people to take a genetic test. Let me say that one more time for you. Bill S-201 made it a crime to require people to take a genetic test or to disclose the results of a previous test in order to get a contract or goods and services such as, not limited to, such as insurance, period. When was this said? July of 2020, post lockdowns, after the lockdowns began, after the quote unquote emergency. Do I have any further witnesses to the exact same statement? Yes, I do. It's a CBC article. And here it is, CBC, July of 2020, post the beginning of the quote unquote emergency, Supreme Court of Canada upholds, I repeat, upholds genetic non-discrimination law. Okay, so they upheld Bill S-201. First paragraph, Canada's highest court has issued a ruling today upholding a federal law. And what does it do? It prevents third parties. It prevents third parties such as employers, not limited to such as employers and insurance companies from demanding genetic information from individuals. You cannot demand a PCR test. You cannot demand or coerce someone or threaten someone into giving you genetic information, period. See that period right there? That's a period, okay? And what is, because if it is a crime, what could potentially be the scolding for participating in this? Well, it says it right here. The legislation amended the Canadian Labor Code and the Canadian Human Rights Act. It introduced the first nationwide, it's national, the first nationwide penalties against genetic discrimination. So don't do it. Why? Because it includes a fine of up to a million dollars. Let me repeat that. A fine of up to a million dollars. Pay attention to that businesses and management people. Pay attention to that and or, not or, and or imprisonment for five years. Best of my understanding right there, that tells me, well, the pharma companies might be off the hook, but business owners, employers of any kind, management people participating in going against this law right here, I would suggest that you're not, you're not in a situation where someone can't take you to a court room and ask, a judge to judge on this and here's what you'd be facing potentially all right so think about that do i have any more witnesses yes i do here's another article okay and by the way just so you know this is information and privacy commissioner of ontario okay scrolling down same date july of 2020 post lockdowns post emergency quote unquote supreme court decision lifts the cloud on genetic testing so those of you who keep coming against Bill S-201, I need you to stop putting the cloud back in to this. Why? Because the Supreme Court already decided they lifted the cloud on this, okay? And they decided it post lockdown. And what did they say? Let's go to the second paragraph. On July 10th, the court upheld the constitutionality of the Genetic Non-Discrimination Act. They upheld it. What does this law do? This law prohibits, I repeat, prohibits the practice of requiring individuals, you cannot require individuals to undergo genetic testing, PCR testing, or to disclose existing test results as a condition of purchasing goods or services or entering into a contract. You can't tell me I can't come into a restaurant unless I give you my genetic information. And I would suggest strongly that inoculations would indeed be part of this mix, by the way. But for now, we'll just focus on the PCR testing. And what does it say? Essentially, it's a hat trick. See, essentially, it's a hat trick for privacy, not for coercion. It's a hat trick for human rights, not threatening my livelihood.
and it's a hat trick for public health. See what they're saying here? By respecting people's choices and privacy, it's beneficial to public health. There are people out there trying to say it's the opposite, that we're being irresponsible by maintaining our privacy. That's not what the act says. The act says when you require individuals to undergo testing, that's against public health. When you require individuals to do something that's illegal and inappropriate, that's against public health. This law that tells you you don't have to disclose that information, nor do you even have to do the test if you don't want to, actually helps public health, period.